I'm going to show you here is just some tweaks that I uh, work was working on today. Saw got this thing called Rocket Dock, and it will uh, you can put all your programs on here and uh, consolidate them and keep your desktop neat and clean. And uh, what my video today is about is these power buttons like this right here that would shut off the computer in one click. And ooh, go back up and put it down. And that's a that one is a log off, and that one is a restart. But you see those buttons are kind of Windows stock buttons and I don't really like them. So I'm going to show you how to pimp those out and get really nice ones. We are going to go to the Rocket Dock and we're going to go to Google Chrome here. Get online. I keep double clicking and that opens too. We'll look at this. Alright. Oh, and it's all feminine because this is my mother's computer and I'm fixing it for her. <laughs> that's with all the flowers and stuff okay and then we'll go to rocket dock sucks okay oh okay well if you go to rocketdot.com and then it's backslash add-ons icons so you can just what it'll be is you'll be on a different page you can click on the add-ons and the icons but that's the address right there rocketdot.com backslash add-ons backslash icons alright so that's uh, that's where you want to go and we're on the icons and then when you're in here in this little search window because there's a lot of icons type in power and search and then I think it's on the second page these ones right here I like that right so we'll click on those and right here is where you click to download okay and it's downloaded right here it's a zip file okay and it's unzipped when it goes into WinRare, WinRare. and it unzips it and here are the files okay so there's those and then you take those files and make a folder to put them in um, I put them in real close to where the normal uh, artwork icons are which is uh, my computer C drive windows system 32 New folder, power icons, okay, and then we'll open up that folder, and all right, put them in the folder, okay, so now they're there, boom, get that, close that, okay, now, on the desktop, right click new shortcut new shortcut the path the these are the codes to shut down is the first one and then restart and log off we'll be doing next so they're all basically the same except this first letter will change s is shut down r is restart and l is log off so we'll take that Copy that. All right, here, and uh, I'll put the codes in the um, description so you can just cut and paste them as well. Okay, and they're calling it shutdown, and that's fine. Uh, okay, so now we have a shortcut called shutdown. If I click on that, it will shut the computer down but we're gonna go and do the next one right click on the desktop new shortcut this path is gonna be the one for restart paste that in there and next and it's not going to call that shutdown too. We're going to call that restart. Okay. All right. Finish.
Okay, and we're going to do the log off one. So, new shortcut. Get the code right here. Which I can type it in, but it's right here. And I want you to see it. Okay. And paste. Boom. Same as the other two times, but the one letter is different. And we're going to call that log off. Okay, and finish. Okay. So those will all work as they are right now. So we want to use these. Um, we're going to put these now. Now we're going to take these and put these onto the Rocket Dock. Okay, so click on it and drag it up. Rocket Dock pops up. It's on Auto Hide. You don't have to have it on Auto Hide. You can have it sitting there. And then click it on there. Okay, so that's shut down. I'm going to do restart. Right there. I'm going to do log off right there. Okay. Okay, so those are all up there. And power icons now. And we'll do power off first. Okay, so we'll take power off. Oh, wait. Oh, whoa, whoa. Okay, we'll go to power off. We'll right click it. And we will send to desktop create shortcut. Type the location of this item. Okay. That is where I have my codes. These are the codes to shut down is the first one. And then restart and log off we'll be doing next. So they're all basically the same except this first letter will change S is shut down, R is restart, and L is log off so we'll take that copy that All right. here and uh, I'll put the codes in the um, description so you can just cut and paste them as well Okay, and they're calling it shutdown, and that's fine. Uh, okay, so now we have a shortcut called shutdown. If I click on that, it will shut the computer down. But we're going to go and do the next one. Right click on the desktop, new, shortcut. This path is going to be the one for restart. Paste that in there, and next, and it's not going to call that shutdown too, we're going to call that restart. Okay, alright, finish, okay, and we're going to do the log off one. So new, shortcut, get the code right here, which I can type it in, but it's right here and I want you to see it. Okay, and paste, boom, same as the other two times, but the one letter is different, and we're going to call that log off. Take these and put these onto the rocket dock. Okay, so click on it and drag it up, rocket dock pops up, it's on auto hide, you don't have to have it on auto hide, you can have it sitting there, and then click it on there. Okay, so that's shut down, I'm going to do restart there. I'm going to do log off right there. Okay. Okay, so those are all up there. And okay, so these three are up here. They're not permanent. They're temporary. That's why they're, they look like that. Okay. So when we drag those up there, they get the code gets rewritten. That's why we would do that. Okay. Now we're going to do power off is right here. I'm going to drag that one up here, put it right next to the other one here, Does, that doesn't matter but I like it there. Okay, and then that changes into a nice button. See? And after we program it, you just click it once and we'll shut the computer off. Okay, so now right click on the one that's the power off uh, from before. I know their placement, They, I got to get the names to show up too. But uh, here's 
icon settings right click icon settings alright and then down here is what you need you need to get this target highlight it copy it and then it just takes a couple steps you close this out then you go over the power button and you right click and go to icon settings again and paste over what's there and replace it with the other one and okay and then go back to the first one and icon settings right click icon settings and now this start in is the next line it's got some percentage signs and wind direct percentage um, wind dirt just percentage anyway so you don't mess anything up just cut and paste and go back to the power off button again icon settings and it had a different thing there so we're gonna cover it up and paste over it that will replace it okay and then arguments will be the last thing and that's on the we go back icon settings I know it's uh, repetitive but this is the easiest way to do it if you don't know what you're doing <laughs> okay so this will be the last one and we go here and icon settings one last time for the power off button and into its arguments it had nothing we're gonna put the line that it had and then okay alright that power button is good to go alright so we're gonna take the thing we got the code from and drag it off click it and it disappears okay alright so shutdown is done we'll go ahead and delete this one delete okay and now we'll do restart okay the power off uh, delete it here too okay and these are just um, <clears throat> these are here are just shortcuts I, I did, you know we did the shortcut so um, you can just delete them and you won't be deleting the button okay so now see that's yeah, a nice pretty reboot one um, and that's the reboot thing right here so right click icon settings get right at it And you can X out, you can hit OK or X out. Okay, and then it's just repetitive at this point. Do the same thing for all three. I'll just go ahead and do them. So I guess this is the same, the start in is the same for all three. That's nice. Alright. It won't open up unless we close out that one. So I'm going to go open it again. Okay, and I can cut and paste, but I know that this was, I mean, you could type it in if you know what it is, right? So I know it's minus, this is a shortcut for re reboot, so this is minus R for reboot, space, minus T, space, zero. That's just the end of what you type in that other code. Um, I don't know where the rest of it goes, but, so there is that, okay. So now that reboot button is functional. All right, and we'll drag that off and get rid of it, and we'll delete that. 
and we'll delete that. Okay, and just the log off left. Okay, so dragging it right there, put it down. All right, right click, icon settings. You still might want to cut and paste, that way you take the human error out of it, you know? I mean, well, you could still cut and paste wrong, but, um, you know, not as likely to have a typo. So, uh, I got settings. And those don't, they don't matter where they are right now. In the center is just easy to work on. Uh, you can move them all around. Okay, to paste, okay, and this I remember too, so this was percentage win der shift percentage, I think it was a big W though, I'm going to have to check that. Okay, and that was minus L space minus T space zero, and okay. All right, okay, so now you don't like them right in the center, you don't want to hit them on accident, so one click, and drag them over, put them back down. Just drag them right over, put them right down. Here's the old icons I was using. I'm gonna drag them off and get rid of them. Okay. I got it on auto hide so it goes away. There it goes. And there's my old restart. Get out of there. Alright, so I like those. Nice. Okay. So that last one I typed in stuff. Let's see if it works. It should log me off. Yeah, I thought that was funnier than the uh, log out sign. <laughs> All right, well that's it, guys. Um, that's just that one tweak, but I thought I uh, combined some stuff that other people didn't. It made it a little easier for everybody. Cool, man. Hey, what's up in there, man? <laughs> and that's the log on sound. <laughs> All right, well, have a good one. <laughs>